hi it's feature from soulmate welcome to my channel if you want to see how i cut and sew this skirt please stay tuned let's start with the pattern making now i will be using the following tools to do this a curved ruler, a straight ruler, an owl, a notcher, and a marker. Most importantly, you will need your basic skirt block to do this. I've got a tutorial on this channel on how to make one. I'll put a link in the description below and the link above. Just go make yourself a basic skirt block pattern and come and do this with me. We're going to start with drafting the front pattern press around the pattern marking the dots lift your pattern and draw in your dots sway in your hip line sway in your hemline using the hemline notch on the hemline come in by 2.5 centimeters to make the pencil skirt silhouette join these two points with a straight line cancel this line out we don't need it now on the hemline we're going to put a hem allowance of one centimeter and draw a line Coming back to the hip line, go down by 10 centimeters and put them up. Now square a line across using this point. Measure and divide this line into thirds. Square lines down using these marked points. I'm going to put signs to show which lines we're going to cut. So cut along this line this line and this line I'm going to put a plan on what we're gonna do with the skirt so we're going to be spreading it out by 10 centimeters on this line 10 centimeters on this line as well and then the side seam we're gonna go out by 5 centimeters go one centimeter up from the dot tip and put a mark for the owl punch now we're gonna cut around our pattern. Cut along these lower lines, making sure not to cut through the pattern, just leave them hanging by the thread. Now get a fresh pattern paper and lay it under our pattern. So we're going to be spreading our pattern as we noted before. We also need to use tape in this part. Tap down the first part of our pattern piece. Then measure and spread by 10 centimeters. Tape it down as well. Measure and spread the second part by 10 centimeters again. Tape it down. Finally, we're going to add 5 centimeters to the side seam. Put a mark. Now connect these two points with a straight line. Add seam allowances to the bottom part. Get your cap ruler and just connect these points like I'm doing here. Now on to labeling this part and piece. So that's our center front and that's a sign to show that we're putting it on fold. Adding seam allowances to the top half of our pattern. One centimeter. Get your calf ruler and just correct the calf there.
Now I'm drawing in my grain line which should be parallel to your center front. So that's our front lower skirt pattern. Cut one, unfold. And I put my initial. Now I'm just marking in my notches for this pattern piece. Cut around the pattern. Now onto the top half of the skirt, we're going to add a seam allowance to the bottom part here, one centimeter seam allowance. Now cut around the pattern. Now I'm marking the notches for this pattern piece. Label this pattern upper skirt front. Cut one on fold and I put my initial. Gonna put this on fold. Now I'm marking in my grain line parallel to the center front. Moving on to the back pattern, trace around the pattern as usual, marking your dots. Lift the pattern, marking your dots. Square in your hip line, and square in your hemline. Marking your new hem allowance, which is one centimeter. Move in by 2.5 centimeters, put a mark and draw a straight line. Measure 10 centimeters down from the hip line and put a mark, square a straight line along this line. Now measure and divide this line into thirds like we did with the front skirt. Square straight lines along these marks. So we're moving out 10 centimeters, out 10 centimeters, and side seam out by 5 centimeters again. We're going to cut through this line, this line, and this line like we did with the front. Marking in our hour point 1 centimeter from the dot tip, put a mark and a circle. Cut around the pattern like we did with our front skirt. Cut the lower half of the skirt like we did with the front again, making sure to leave it hanging by the thread. Get fresh pattern paper and lay the pattern out like we did before. So 10 centimeters first section, 10 centimeters second section, and we're going to add 5 centimeters at the side seam like we did with the front again. Put a mark and connect with a straight line. Continue this line and draw in your seam allowance. Get your capsule and connect these points nicely. Add a one centimeter seam allowance to the top part of this pattern piece like I'm doing here. Get your cap ruler and correct this curve. Now drawing in my grain line here, parallel to the center back. That's the center back. Make sure to cut off your zipper allowance from this piece because we're putting it on fold. Now labeling it, back lower skirt. Cut one on fold. And I put my initial. Cut around the pattern. Now 
na marking my notches want to labeling the upper skirt back pattern upper skirt back cut one pair and I put my initial next we're going to add some allowances at the bottom there like we did with the front part now cut around the pattern now I'm marking my notches draw in your grain line parallel to the center back moving on to the waist band we're going to make a shaped waist band for our skirt so dress around the top edge of your skirt making sure to pivot the dart out pivot your dart and continue tracing to the other end put a mark get your stretch line square up the center back measure and mark five centimeters up for the waist band width up from the curved edge and just follow it through square another line at the end now adding seam allowances one centimeter seam allowance at the top and bottom our side seam self seam allowances added already from the block So that's our center back. And I'm marking the notches and that's the side seam. Now adding the grain line parallel to the center back and labeling the pattern back skirt waist bend. Cut two pairs plus one pair interfacing. Cut around the pattern. Repeat same with the front waist bend. Trace around the top. Pivot the dart out and finish off dressing the top. Square up the center front and measure and mark about five centimeters for the width of the waist bend. Following through the curve squaring along the edge there, side seam and center front. Add seam allowance to the top and bottom like we did with the back skirt waist band. Now drawing in the green line and labeling the pattern piece. Front skirt waist band cut to unfold. plus one fusing or interfacing on fold as well now adding the notches cut around the pattern piece Our skirt patterns are finished, now we're moving on to sewing. Moving on to sewing our skirts, I'm going to be using this beautiful red 12 and 12 fabric and a red zipper to go with it. You also need all your pattern pieces. Then I'm also going to be using an owl, a rotary cutter and some ways to help me with cutting my fabric. Now let's move on to cutting.
So now we've got both our front and back skirt pieces all cut and ready to sew. So now we've got two sets of waistbands here. One of them we've got to interface it. So I'm just gonna do that now. Okay, so we finished interfacing our waistband pieces, just one set of it. Okay, and we've got another set that's not interfaced, this one here, three pieces. So put this on the side and we've started sewing our skirts. So first thing we're going to do is to get our front and back pieces and go on and sew on our darts for the skirts. Okay, so I've sewn all my darts and I've pressed them already. That's sewn and pressed. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is to go on our overlocker and overlock the center back seams here. Let's go and do that. Now we finished overlocking the center back seam. So what we're gonna do now is to put the two pieces right sides together and just pin from the zipper notches going down. Now we're going to go back to the sewing machine and sew from the zipper notch here going down. So I've done that and I've gone ahead and given it a bit of a press. So next we're going to take our lower skirt piece and just attach it to this part. So this is for the back part. So what we're going to do now, get your lower skirt back piece and just lay it on top of this one, right sides together, okay? And just pin it along here. Do the same with the front piece, right sides together and pin along. Take both of them to your sewing machine, sew along this seam line here and just overlock it. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so that's done. We have joined the two skirt pieces together for both the front and back and then I went ahead and ironed the seams down, okay? Did the same with the front. Sewn the seam and ironed it facing down like this. So now we're gonna get our back piece. We're going to apply a zipper to our back skirt. So I've decided to use the left zipper. So what I'm gonna do with the skirt facing up, take the left side of the skirt and iron it at 1.5 centimeter seam allowance, which is the zipper allowance we left for this skirt. And then the right side of the skirt, I'm going to go and iron it at one centimeter seam allowance, okay? One centimeter, not 1.5. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so I've done that. So as you can see, this side is shorter. That's my one centimeter seam allowance. And this one is 1.5 centimeter seam allowance. Get your zipper. Get the shorter side that you iron, the one centimeter seam allowance, making sure to match the notches here. just pin it along next to the zipper tip here now we're just gonna go to our sewing machine and just give it a little top stitch along here okay let's do that that's done nice and neat so what I'm gonna do now is to close the zipper and then make sure to cover the zipper with your left side. And just pin it along. So now we're going to go and sew the left side of the zipper along this side, making sure to catch these two sides together, the zipper in this side here we fold it in okay let's go and do that okay so our left zipper is finished and i went ahead and give it a nice press so next 
we're going to take our front piece lay it on top of the back piece right sides together and we're gonna pin along the sides both the sides And just go and sew along the side seams and overlock them okay our side seams are done sewn and overlocked okay so next we're gonna go on to making our waistband now get your waistband pieces the interfaced ones and the non-interfaced ones pin them together along the side seams like i've done here go to your sewing machine and sew along the side seams here I finished sewing the side seams of the waist bands. Now take your waist band pieces, put them right sides together, pin them along the top here. So we're going to sew along the top end here with a one centimeter seam allowance. Get the uninterfaced side, turn it over like this and do a bit of under stitching here, okay? After that, get the uninterfaced side again and just overlock along the whole edge down there. Let's do that. And now we've finished sewing the waist pants together now, and I've done a bit of under stitching there now, and also overlocked the other edge of the uninterfaced side. So, what we're going to do now, we're just going to clip along this edge so that it can roll over nicely now i'm just gonna go and iron this nicely so that it lays well okay so that's it it's nicely pressed so now we're going to turn our skirt to the right side open the zipper Get the interface side and start pinning along. Leave about one centimeter hanging at the edge and just pin along the edge there. Make sure you've got another centimeter hanging at the edge there, okay? So now we're going to the sewing machine and just sew along the edge here with a one centimeter seam allowance. Okay, so we've sewn the waistband on. So next what we're gonna do, open the zipper and go to your machine, roll this over here, the top edge, and just sew on a one centimeter seam allowance along here. Do the same on this side. Roll it back and sew on a one centimeter seam allowance on this side too. Let's do that. We're just gonna trim a bit of bulk off the corners. Do the same one here. Then we're just gonna turn this over. Now we're going to fold along the top here. Make sure that you've ironed your seam allowances to face upwards. So just put this one here so that it covers that bow. You pin along the waistband here so that it doesn't draw when you're sewing, okay? So now we are gonna go and stitch along the ditch here. When I finish with the waistband, I'm gonna go ahead and just overlock the whole edge of my hem, and then I'm gonna turn it over by one centimeter and just top stitch it, okay? Let's do that. Okay, now our skirt is finished. I finished the waistband, it's looking nice and neat. And now just put a hook and eye here at the back, and our hem is finished as well nice and neat so i'm happy with the result thank you